हेलो एवरीवन ओपन योर हिस्ट्री एंड सिविक्स बुक क्लास एट लेसन फाइव एजेंस ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द लेसन इज टू नो अबाउट स्पेशलाइज्ड एजेंसेस ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस अर्लियर वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज एफ एंड द इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज आई एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट टू एजेंसेज ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस the world health organization who and the united nations children's fund unicef but before discussing these two agencies let us recall definitions and cross question answers related to the previous topics definitions organization agency food security secretariat now answer these cross questions what is the full form of fao what is the primary aim of fao tell any two functions of fao where is the headquarters of ilo when was ilo set up and tell any two functions of ilo now let us start up with today's topic the topic of today is agencies of the united nations that means we are going to discuss pages 166 till 168 in which we are going to discuss about the world health organization who and the united nations children's fund unicef Objective of today's topic is that we will learn about these agencies under the following headings: headquarters, when it was formed, primary or main aim, and its functions. Before discussing these points, let us discuss new words related to today's topic. New words: epidemic, a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. Campaign. work in an organized and active way towards a particular goal nutrition the process of providing or obtaining food necessary for health and growth sanitation conditions relating to public health especially the provision of clean drinking water and adequate sewage disposal pharmaceutical products the medical products which are used to diagnose cure treat or prevent diseases environmental hygiene improving or maintaining standards of basic environmental conditions now all will open page 166 of the book and the topic is the world health organization who this is logo of who it consists of the united nations symbol surmounted by a staff with a snake coiling round it the staff with snake has long been symbol of medicine and the medical profession it originates from the story of greek asclepius who was an ancient greek physician and was also known as god of healing The World Health Organization is the body of the United Nations responsible for directing and controlling health. Now before reading from the book let us discuss the main points related to WHO. The World Health Organization. The headquarters of WHO is located in Geneva, Switzerland. When it was formed, it was formed in 1948. Primary or main aim of WHO is to achieve the highest possible level of health for all the people in the world functions to promote health education amongst the people to organize campaigns to fight against diseases like malaria polio etc to improve housing sanitation and living conditions the world health organization who aims to achieve the highest possible level of health for all the people in the world a specialized agency of the un it was established in 1948 its headquarters is in geneva that is in switzerland europe it plays a vital role in field of international public health that means who is a specialized agency of the united nations that is responsible for international public health functions eradicating epidemics like smallpox and also organizing campaigns to fight diseases like cholera malaria polio and 
AIDS. Epidemics means a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. And smallpox is an infectious disease caused by Variola virus. And WHO certified the global eradication of smallpox in 1980. That means smallpox was eradicated due to efforts of WHO. And WHO also organizes campaigns to fight against diseases like cholera. Cholera is a bacterial disease causing severe dehydration, usually spread in water. Malaria. Malaria is a mosquito-borne infectious disease that affects humans and other animals. Polio is a highly infectious disease caused by a virus. It attacks the nervous system and mainly affects children under 5 years of age. And AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. So, we can say that WHO undertakes worldwide campaigns against the diseases and it also encourages research and service in the field of public health and diseases. Improving nutrition, housing, sanitation, living conditions and other aspects of environmental hygiene. That means to provide necessary food for growth and health of the children and the conditions related to public health, especially the provision of clean drinking water and adequate sewage disposal and to improve or maintain standards of basic environmental conditions are also the functions of the WHO. Preparing international standards for food, biological and pharmaceutical products. That means it is also one of the main function of WHO to provide necessary food for growth and health of the public and to provide medical products which are used to diagnose, cure, treat or prevent diseases. Providing information, counseling and support in the field of health. Counseling means giving advice. It is also one of the main function of WHO to provide the proper information to the public and to support the public in the field of health. And for this, a large number of WHO doctors have visited India and trained medical teams to look after the public health. Helping governments in strengthening health-related services and health education among the masses. That means WHO guides the governments time to time and conducts several campaigns to create awareness and to improve the public health. Moreover, it also encourages research and surveys in the field of public health and diseases. It has organized a network of international laboratories which find out causes of diseases, improve medicines and vaccines and encourages research workers. It promotes cooperation among the nations in the field of health and education. So, to sum up, we can say that WHO's broad mandate includes advocating for universal healthcare, monitoring public health risks, coordinating responses to health emergencies, and promoting human health and well being. Now, the next agency of the United Nations is the United Nations Children's Fund, that is. UNICEF and this is the logo of UNICEF. It comprises the image of mother and a child, a globe and olive branches. And the description of mother and child emphasizes the mission of the UNICEF that is the welfare of babies and their mothers. And the olive branches are most often understood as a symbol of peace. Now before starting the reading let us discuss the main points related to UNICEF. The United Nations Children's Fund Headquarters The headquarters of the UNICEF is located in New York, that is in United States of America. When it was formed, it was formed in 1946. Primary or main aim To provide emergency food and health care to the children or to improve the lives of the children. Functions to protect the rights of children. Second, to look after the welfare of vulnerable children. Vulnerable means helpless or homeless children. Third, to work for the welfare of babies and their mothers. The United Nations Children's Fund. The UNICEF's aim was to provide emergency food and health care to children in countries that had been destroyed by World War II. It was created in 1946 
with its headquarters in New York, in 1953, the UNICEF became a permanent part of the United Nations. That means the UNICEF was set up in 1946 with the mission of protecting European children who suffered from the devastation of World War II. However, in the course of time, the mission have become broader and started to include assistance to help children and mothers in developing countries. And by 1953, the UNICEF became the permanent part of the United Nations. Functions Protecting the rights of children Providing access to quality services for children and women Looking after the welfare of the vulnerable children Vulnerable means homeless or helpless children That means the main objective of the UNICEF is to save millions of children in the world who suffer from hunger, diseases and ignorance. UNICEF makes many arrangements for welfare of babies and their mothers. It also provides medical aid and medicines for children, especially in the underdeveloped nations. It helps children at the time of natural calamities. UNICEF also runs welfare centers for children for their social welfare, education and vocational training. It provides them cheaper books and other reading material. Besides this, the UNICEF also conducts several campaigns across the globe to create awareness and to improve children's lives. Awareness means consciousness. And even UNICEF has been working closely with the government of India for nearly 40 years. It has been helping children to realize their dreams and give them the best start in life. And many of the programs in India are led by UNICEF. It carries out programs to provide clean drinking water Nutritional food, the food that is fit for or necessary for health and growth of a child. Smallpox vaccinations and oral polio drops to children. As we all know that in our own country, India, the polio drops are given to the children who are below 5 years. And these drops are given to protect the children against polio paralysis by preventing the spread of polio virus to the nervous system. And this program is supported by the United Nations Children's Fund. The UNICEF supports the Indian government's total sanitation campaign through its program School Saving Lives. Sanitation means conditions relating to public health, especially the provision of clean drinking water and adequate sewage disposal. And this program was introduced by the Indian government to accelerate the sanitation coverage throughout the country particularly in rural areas and it focused on information and education to generate public demand for sanitation facilities, particularly in schools. UNICEF's greeting cards create awareness and help in raising funds. These are made by children. Many greeting cards are made by the children in order to create consciousness and to improve the children's lives. And the UNICEF depends on voluntary contributions made by different governments, donations made by private agencies, sale of greeting cards and through various fundraising campaigns. Sale of UNICEF cards is an important source of income and all the funds raised through the sale of cards go to help UNICEF in its mission to advocate for the protection of children's right and it helps meet their basic needs and to expand their opportunities to reach their full potential. Now, let us read No More, Days of Tranquility, a UNICEF program, organizes a few days of peace during a war. The children caught in the war are given free health checkups and vaccinations. Tranquility means peace. Basically, El Salvador, a country of North America, in 1985, saw the first days of tranquility when the war stopped for three days to allow 2,50,000 small children to be vaccinated. This concern is of more than sentimental value and it has frequently allowed relief to penetrate enemy lines to reach starving children beyond. So, to conclude, we can say that UNICEF has done extremely well in its work for the children who are the future hope of the world. Now, I hope these two agencies of the United Nations are clear to you and your today's homework is to make chart 
of agencies of the United Nations in which you have to mention agency's name, headquarters, when it was formed, primary or main aim and its functions.